your hands up and be truthful. How many people didn't believe Melissa was coming? <laughs> I see you. And you. A lot of people didn't believe, even when we put all the posters on the trains. So she's here. Okay, so you don't want to hear me. I'm going to ask a couple of questions. Once I've asked a couple of questions, I will be looking for people from the audience for questions. You do not need to leave your seat. Okay, when you meet Melissa, just bear in mind, if she's that short, how short is Wallowitz? <laughs> How do you make Sheldon Cooper look bigger? Put her next to Wallowitz. Put her next to Wallowitz. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Michelle Rausch. said on the way up, they said, Guten Tag. So they want to say hello. Guten Tag. Um, I am going to ask, as I said, a couple of questions, keep it very, very simple, because some of you may have studied everything about Big Bang Theory, and some of you won't. And some of you may have heard things before, and some of you may have not. So I'm going straight back to the very beginning. And how did you end up on the Big Bang Theory? And how did it all start? So I was an out-of-work actress who was looking for a job, and I had been a fan of Big Bang Theory before I started on the show. I loved it and loved watching it, and I was very excited that my um, representation got me an audition for the show, and I saw Big Bang Theory in my email saying that I had an audition for it, and I, was, I let out a scream. I was very excited, hmm. and I went in for the audition. It was just supposed to be a one-time job, just, just for the week. And so I went there, I was very excited, and I was, I was very nervous to meet the cast because I was such a fan of everyone's. And I can assure you um, that they were all just so lovely, and each of them came up to me and introduced themselves and welcomed me to the set. And, um, and they thought I was just going to be there for a week, so it's such a testament to what great people they are that they wanted me to feel at home. And then they invited me to come back for another episode, which I let out another scream about. And then when they told me that I was going to be joining the cast, that scream lasted a very long time. And I'm, <laughs> I'm just so thrilled to, to be a part of this show and eternally grateful for it. Right. <laughs> it's a case of when you got the role, and it was, you didn't know how long it would go for, did you ultimately know that it was going to end up with the marriage? I didn't. I did I just kept on, every time I got a script, I'd be like, please don't break us up, please don't break us up, I, I hope that they don't mess us up. So um, I was thrilled when, um, when Howard proposed. All right, job security, maybe I'll be here for a while. Yeah, well, it is, it is almost science fiction in a way, so anything could happen, especially you could come back in a dream. That's true. It could have That's all true. been a dream. You're right, you're right, it's true. Okay, so on the show you interact with a lot of different people, and obviously you've got the girls and you've got the boys. Is there ever any actual fights between the girls and the boys? Do you ever gang up on each other? Hmm, we really don't. It's a very peaceful set. Everyone gets along really well. It's a big family. It's, uh, it's like hanging out with your brothers and sisters every day, and we all have individual rooms on the set, so we'll just knock on each other's doors and go and have lunch with each other, and it really feels, um, it almost feels like a dorm. It feels like a, a college experience because we're, we're just all, we live there all day together, and it's, it's a really terrific environment, and it's just a really fun group of people between the cast and our crew and our producers and writers and it's just a really, really neat group. On the, between one of the episodes, because you film live, you obviously do run-throughs for a few days and then you film live, and on one occasion there was a flash mob that everybody did, which I can't remember now because my brain's fuzzy. Were you part of the flash mob? I, was, I love doing the flash mob. Did mobs. anybody see the flash mob? Did I see it? Okay, who didn't see the flash mob? Ooh, oh, oh, oh some of you didn't see it. 
<laughs> okay, well, Mark, if you can find it just when we're leaving, maybe you can play the flash mob, but it was a very fun day. Whose idea was that? That is all Kaylee. Kaylee was the genius behind that, and her sister is a phenomenal choreographer. So she organized it, and we rehearsed it on our lunch breaks. And it was really cool because the whole crew was involved, as you all saw. And so we would, it was a surprise for the producers, but we all wanted to practice. So we'd be all off to different sides of the stage, like just marking the moves throughout the episode. And we were, it was a really fun, fun thing to do. And I think I even had, I wasn't even rehearsing one of the days that, um, on the show, one of the days that we were rehearsing the flash mob, but I was so excited about doing the flash mob that I drove to the studio just to rehearse the flash mob, because I was so excited to be a part of it. It's, it's so great. It's a really fun way for the whole cast and crew to bond. Okay, so if you had to pick one of them, which one is the Joker? The Joker? Hmm. I would say everyone, I know this may be a lame answer, but everyone is kind of a joker in their own way. Simon, I have to say, I think we would all agree, though, that Simon, um, who plays Howard Wallow, it's my husband, he's, he's hilarious. He's one of the funniest people I've ever met. He does fantastic impressions. If you Google Simon Helberg impressions, you'll see really some out-of-this-world impressions. He does Nicolas Cage and Al Pacino, and they're spot on. He can mimic yeah. anyone's voice. Okay. Have you got any other projects you've been doing in between the seasons recently? Yeah, so I have a movie called The Bronze that I co-wrote with my husband. And it's about a former bronze medal winning gymnast. She won the bronze medal on a torn Achilles. And it's now 10 years later and she's done nothing with her life. She's living in her dad's basement and she's bitter and she's angry. And she's just pissed off at the whole entire world. And it's a bit of a passion project of mine that we did on a very small budget, shot independently, and it opened the Sundance Film Festival a couple years ago, and I think you all should be able to see it in August. So I hope you all check it out. It's a, a real, uh, very close to my heart. This is something that I think is, is really incredible that the writers have done. You've seen these characters grow and evolve over the years. And um, like Howard started out as this, you know, sort of womanizing guy, and then he became the most domesticated of the group. And it didn't really, it didn't hurt the show at all. If anything, it just created new storylines and created new dynamics between the characters. So I think if anything,